What's up YouTube, it's Mitch from Revolution Music Film and Photography and today I'm going to show you how I turned my garage into a music recording studio. Okay, so how did I turn my ordinary garage into a music recording studio? Uh, it was a lot of work. Uh, it took a couple of weeks of uh, building panels and putting in these movable walls that I have in this room now. What I should note is that I actually am renting where I live, so I couldn't build a solid physical wall structure. So I had to build something that could be movable and fit within like what I'm allowed to do um, as a tenant. So that was a bit tricky and it, I had a lot of time to sort of think about what I was really gonna do. And the best solution I could come up with was make the walls movable and, and use baffles as walls to cut down on the noise in the room and acoustically treat the room and stop any bad reflections and stuff like that. Now, I should also note that what I've done isn't soundproofing a room, it's acoustically treating the room. And that's actually quite a different thing. Soundproofing a room is when you make a room within a room and it's completely airtight. The only way to actually soundproof a room is to make it airtight. And that's because sound is transmitted through the air. So if your room isn't completely airtight and walls aren't completely sealed, that room's never gonna be soundproof. So what I had to do was just deal with the fact that this room was never gonna be soundproof, but I could make it sound as good as possible. So the first thing that I did was that I created uh, baffle structures at either side of the room to create kind of like faux walls and it actually turned out really good because behind these walls if you can see the walls behind me there's actually now this storage space behind those walls that has come in really handy so how did I build these panels there's actually two different types of panels that I've built there's a very simple panel that I've used as clouds and I actually bought these pre-made and I'll go into those next week I'll show you this week how I built the main wall structures behind me and some of the bigger panels that are mounted to the wall just to my right here First off, I went to my local hardware store and got a whole heap of timber supplies. I calculated the right measurements that I needed for each of the panels. And my local hardware store was really helpful because they actually cut the timber to the lengths that I needed. I then kept the offcuts from those and I'll show you what I did with them later on. I also bought a whole heap of acoustic insulation. It's really important to buy the acoustic insulation bats because they're of a different property and different thickness and they'll give you a better um, acoustic treatment within the room. I then bought a stack of bits and pieces like brackets and screws and all the kinds of things that I would need to put these panels together. Now because I was using what's called dressed pine, um, when I was joining any of these pieces I would have to pre-drill the holes that I'd be putting screws into as well so you should know if you don't do that you might end up splitting the pieces of wood. So I started by pre-drilling the holes that I'd need and then attaching the brackets and then joining each of the four pieces of timber together. I then took pieces of offcuts and split them up into enough pieces to then place in the corners as a bit of reinforcement to the actual frames on each of the acoustic panels. Once I had the panels together, I then wrapped them in the material that I used and the material I used for each of these panels was actually bed sheets. I actually found it really hard to find affordable material to line each of these panels. It was kind of crazy. The local spotlights and stuff like that, they have material, but it's actually very expensive per meter. So what I used instead was actually bed sheets from a local Kmart. And it was much, much cheaper to buy these sets of bed sheets and wrap each of these panels in that material. After wrapping them, I then placed in the acoustic bats and cut them to length where needed and made sure they were fitting nice and snug within each of the panels. I then put a backing of material on each of the panels to make sure none of the glass fibers were getting into the air in the room. And then lastly, for these wall panels, I put some brackets that I used as legs so that none of the walls would tip over. And that was pretty much it. I mean, it seemed simple. It took quite a long time. I can comfortably say that I've never built anything like this before. It was quite a great experience for me. 
um, to build something using tools that I've never used before. Like it was incredible, it was great, it was good fun. And it just taught me a lot. So hopefully you can hear how great this room's starting to sound. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe down below. We've got heaps more content coming soon. In the next video, I'm gonna show how I did the clouds, the smaller panels that I have on the roof and to the left of me here. And I've got a whole heap of audio, film and photography advice coming your way soon. Thanks for tuning in, I'll catch you soon.